Well, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This one's a little bit different, the things we do for little kids. Okay, we've got a guitar. We've got a fix up. A few batteries falling out of it here. And there it is. Another battery fell out. <laughs> On the back, there's the... Um, the actual plate screw was rusted off and uh, battery leaks, of course. And this is what we got. Okay. Yeah, not in real good order, as you can see. Springs are actually gone from there. Um, springs gone from that one there. I've just got to get this in the camera right. So, yeah. This one doesn't want to come out, actually. So, let's fix up this piece of gear and modify him uh, as far as the battery compartment. And we'll um, get this playing again and make the kids happy. Okay, let's go. Right, this this will be a nice quick little video. So that's what we're up against there. You can see that screw is actually uh, rusted in there. And what we had to do to get the lid off was uh, heat the screw with the with the soldering iron and pull this up and pull him out of the plastic. So that's how we got into it in the first place without breaking this. What I want to do here is cut out the inside of this, put in a three holder double uh yeah it's double a double a battery holder in there and uh, probably make it so that it just sits in there but we will resurrect the lid and have it so that it somehow does screw down so first things a bit of wd-40 i guess get this battery out and get this thing apart Yeah, I think that battery's expired. Okay, now that we've got 100 screws out of it, let's have a look and see what's inside. Uh, hang on, we've got one more to go. Oh, he's, he's undone, but um, yeah, there we go. Okay, now let's see what's inside this thing. Well, there's... Can't say it's not electronic, so I'm still dealing with electronics. Interesting looking arrangement. How that's done for the strings. Yeah, <laughs> very interesting. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, this is the offender. So we've got to get a, I'll, I'll get my plastic cutter and we'll go around here, cut this box out and then work out how we can sit another box in or glue it to this or something. We'll, we'll arrange this. Now, this is the battery holder that I'm anticipating taking the place of this thing. Just a, um, a little three-cell AA holder available. Uh, I buy these from West Electronics in Sydney. Um, very cheap, very handy, 
and you can get them in any any size, any number of cells. So yeah, great little replacements. There we go. Battery holder out. And still maintained our lid, so forth. A little bit of cleaning up here with a just a, a small file. And then we can start arranging our, our new one and how it's going to fit in there. looks pretty good and I'm quite certain that lid will still go in there like so and we can put our little screw in there so a little bit of a clean up we'll see how we go okay got him all nicely cleaned up lids come up okay I've just got to um, maybe just drill out where I've melted the plastic there for this fella. And he goes in there nicely. Now, screw in here had a small nut in that little hole. And then this went on to keep the nut in place down the bottom of the hole, which is hexagonal. I don't know whether you can see that. Probably don't need to. But... Um, yeah, that's how it was held in. So I want to round up another screw and nut and get this working so that we can at least put the lid back on. And there's the old screw and nut that was in there. So let's find one of them. Okay, this screw and nut should do the job. We'll sit the nut down in there. Oh, this fella's held down with a small screw as well. Right. Our nut is in there. This fella goes on and screws in, hopefully, as it originally was. And it does. And there we go. Just the right length. Okay, that's that bit fixed. So, let's get to work now and work out how we're going to mount this fella in. Now, what I've decided here with this fella, I'm going to position this so that it's just right over either edge and run some hot glue along either side and some hot glue along, well, where, where we can, but mostly the sides. Probably won't hold it in, but underneath this, we'll put some cushioning against the back of the unit so that when it goes, when we put it together, it pushes down on the battery compartment as well. When that's positioned in, um, in the middle there, there he is, and it looks like new.
I've just um, hot glued him both sides, and that's looking pretty good. That's all right. And the lid will fit perfectly. Yep, over the top. Okay, now I've got to find a backing that goes against this when it goes in to make sure that this doesn't press down. The only thing that's holding it at the moment is the hot glue. So let's see what we can put under there. Right, so what we've got here, a block of foam, I would say in there, and we'll just cut this fellow down so that uh, he presses, but um, a little bit less than what it is at the moment. And that looks good. Pressing on him, he won't go anywhere. Once the screws are uh, pushing down on him, he's fine. So let's glue this fellow into place. A little bit of elastic under there just to hold him in place. Not that it can go anywhere. And then we'll connect our battery box. Now, with that done, let's put them together. We'll put the wires over to the side there so they don't go under underneath the battery box. And as you can see, by this repair, I really hate throwing things away. And this is not for one of my kids either. This is my little niece and she really wanted this fixed up. So let's get him all together. And see if he works. We'll only put a few screws in initially to make sure. But he's all going to play some music for us. That should be enough to find out whether he can um, play some music. Let's get some batteries. Let's see how she goes. Uh, on. Yes. Look at that. Hey. Quality brand. And there we go. There you go. I hope this doesn't breach any copyright. But there, there she is, folks. There you go. That's about as much guitar as what I can play. Hope you enjoyed the video. Quick fix on this one. Me little niece will love this. And, yeah, let's put the lid on him and wrap this up. There you go, guys. Good as new. Okay, and all working. So, yeah, as I said, hope it doesn't, hope it doesn't breach any copyrights on this one. We, we might. <laughs> okay. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.